Hello there again, this is Erica from The Educated System. In this video, we're going to take a look at the My Clipboard Text Read Aloud feature on the Dolphin Reader app. So here I'm just going to Wikipedia and I am pulling up a, an article about dogs and I'm going to copy the text. So I'm on an iPhone doing this. I'm pressing and holding on the screen and dragging down along the text and then I'm going to tap copy. Next, we're going to go and open up the Dolphin Reader app. Once the app is open, you will see an icon at the top left that looks like a bookshelf or books on a shelf. And you'll tap that and it will bring you to this page where you will see the option for My Clipboard Text on the bottom left. When it opens up on the top right, you'll see a green plus button. Press on the green plus button and it will automatically paste in the text that you copied. Now looking toward the bottom of the screen, you'll see a play button toward the center. You're going to tap on that to play the copied text. The dog. Canis familiaris when considered a distinct species or Canis lupus familiaris when considered a subspecies of the wolf. 5 is a domesticated carnivore of the family canopy. Now to change the text, you can look toward the top of the screen and you'll see an uppercase A and tap on that. Now here you can adjust the text size and you can also adjust the font, margins, line spacing, letter spacing, as well as adjust the color theme and you also have the option of changing the text color as well as, and see, of course you have several options, uh, as well as the background color. And then you have the sentence highlight color that can be changed. And then you have the word highlight color that can be changed as well. And for the sake of the demonstration in this video, I'm just picking really random colors. So we'll look at how that looks. Widely abundant terrestrial carnivore, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. The dog and the extant gray wolf are sister taxa as modern wolves are not. Not closely related to the wolves that were first domesticated. 12, 13, 14. Which implies that the direct ancestor of the dog is extinct. To restore the text settings back to the settings that were original, all you have to do is go under text settings and go to the bottom of the page and you will tap on reset to default. Extinct. 15. The dog was the first species to be domesticated. On the bottom of the screen on the right side, you'll see an icon for navigation. So it looks like a little compass. And you'll tap on that to adjust the settings for navigating throughout the text. So if you want to advance or go back by 15 seconds, 2 minutes, etc. In addition to that, you can navigate by 5 minutes as well as the book's default navigation settings. And then you can also navigate by headings. So you can do headings one and in other longer texts, you can do heading one and two only. It just depends on the book. Now back in the panel where your text has been pasted and read, toward the top, you will see a speaker icon. We'll tap on that. And here it opens up audio settings, so you have the option of adjusting the rate of the audio as well as the voice type, voice settings. You can add voice. You have a pronunciation default list. You also have a green plus button. And there it allows you to add a new pronunciation list. And you can type a name for your new pronunciation list. And then tapping on the pencil icon allows you to add to the default list. 
Now going back to audio settings. So tapping on that speaker icon will bring you to this page. And here we're going to adjust the rate of the audio feedback. So basically the speech. Domesticated, 14, 16, and has been selectively bred over millennia for various behaviors, sensory capabilities, and physical attributes, 17. Now taking a look at the voice settings, we're going to tap on that button and we'll adjust the pitch, the volume, and pause. And then we'll just test the audio on that. Press the play button to test your voice settings. Press the play button to test your voice settings. And then lastly, we are going to look at adding voices. And as you see, it requires an in-app purchase. So you can use the preset voices or you can always spend money to add additional voices to the app. But overall, the app is a free app to use. So if you want more information, I'll definitely drop the links to this application in the description box. But once again, this is Erica from The Educated System. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.